Ini um, Why there are less of you? People have dropped What, what happened to your plant? Uh, not your plants, your friends <laughs> I, I have said to you, right? This this lab, you we start early. We can finish early. If you start late, it's not it's not my fault. If we start late, yeah. where are, where are your friends? If I start now, some of your friends are going to miss out the lesson. Anybody that, if you need manual, come to the front, okay? It's here. Okay. Then you have class later. So, so I want to finish this as quickly as possible. All right. Um, so, welcome again. Um, anybody have dropped? Why not? <laughs> because this is your only option that you have. Yes. Right. I'm I'm too sorry you are stuck with me. Okay. Right. So for today's practical, we are going to learn about root morphology. This is a bit not optimum because usually you have the lecture first, then only you have the practical. But due to the first Monday holiday and then some decision made by other groups. This is what you have. If you notice on your manual, it says here, practical three. Yeah. And this is not something that I decide, okay? If, if I were the one who decide this, it's not going to be this way, okay? But anyway, um, I'll take a few minutes just to explain about the um, root morphology so that you know what you're dealing with and the things that you need to do uh, for the rest of the day. Okay, so root. Um, uh, this thing. Come quick, please. You are already late. Don't walk. Um, so root is one of the main organs in plants, okay? And it is, of course, vegetative. What are other organs in plants that you know? Leaf, stem, yeah. Yeah, flower, of course. And that has entered reproductive. Okay, so this, regardless of the phases in plants, roots are always present. In fact, it is present since the beginning of the plant life, all right? So root is very important because um, you need to understand organs have its own specific function and the function of root, usually we have three, three primary function for the nutrient or water absorption Okay, that's why there are many small hairs in your root structure. There are many kind of roots uh, in front of you. Okay, if you, if you can see there are many hairs in your roots. And these hairs are tiny, are many to increase surface structure, okay? The surface area so that the absorption of water and nutrient can be maximized, right? Secondly, it's for the reason of anchorage. Okay. Root must have some kind of way to cement itself in the ground that it is standing. It's not like it has a glue or a hook or something. So the, the root 
adhere very strongly to the soil structure and it increases over the time. It forms network. Sometimes this network can actually grab to other plants next to it or to the nearby structure. Okay. If anchorage is not achieved, what happened to the plants? It is going to collapse. It's going to fall apart. Okay. Yeah. So it's not steady. Imagine if you are without your legs. What's going to happen to you? I wouldn't come to this class. Yeah, of course. Yeah, people are very, very sorry for you. Anybody not, not got no legs? Okay. And another one is, it's actually, um, so this function, um, it's for two. It creates what we call as rhizosphere. Rhizosphere. So rhizosphere is actually a little atmosphere. So let's say that this is your root. Okay. And you got many um, root hairs coming. So rhizosphere is the surrounding area in your root creating what we call a, as the microclimate or micro ambience. Okay. So this environment in this rhizosphere, not only that it will ensure the fruit, but it will facilitate the um, soil dwelling lives. Roots are living. When you are a living organism, you have to be having what we call as um, connection with other organisms. Can you live on your own on this planet just by yourself? Okay, you need your friends, you need to socialize, that kind of thing, okay? So it's pretty much like root. Roots need to socialize as well, okay? Forming connections, forming um, symbolism, mutualism with other organism. For what? First, um, for the root itself, for the plant level, the reasoning is many, but we are only focusing for the plants. It's to facilitate nutrient absorption. Okay, and also the water. Okay, right, right. So these are the three basic for the roots function. Since today we are dealing specifically with morphology, the, the primary thing that you need to know that roots have main structure that we call as radical. Radical. When you have a seed, suppose that that is a seed, or oh, my seed is ugly. When the seed first germinating, it's going to have a small root like this, and this baby root is radical. So radical is actually the baby root. When it's a first form during germination, we don't call it a root just yet. We call it radical, okay? And this radical is going to grow bigger and bigger, forming the main axis. This main axis of the root, we call it as primary root. Okay? In, in some book, you're going to see that it doesn't use this word, okay? use the symbol one prime so this degree symbol means primary primary secondary tertiary and so on okay right so from this primary root it can rise to the branching okay so now this guy is what the secondary root Okay. The branching of the roots. And this doesn't ha happen right away during germination. It takes time because the plants need more nutrient. It needs uh, more stability. So this branching, not only that it increases the surface area, but it will 
further strengthen the anchorage property of the whole structure. And it, so this is going to go on more and more, and this guy can have further roots, so this is uh, ter uh, tertiary and so on. And after all of this, you need to know one more thing. F at the tip of this primary, secondary, or tertiary, you're going to have the, small, the smaller roots. Okay, very, very small. This is actually big, it's actually a lot smaller, okay? So this thing here, the micro hair structure, we call it root hairs. And this is the end of it. Remember, some plants, they only have up to secondary root structure, okay? And this whole thing, this whole thing, primary, secondary, tertiary, and micro hair, this whole thing, we call it root architecture, architecture um, uh, structure. Oh, sorry, S here. Root structure architecture. R S A. So it's forming like a hole, and this is ground, okay? And this is something that you cannot see. What you see is above the ground. So next time when you walk on the ground, there is a whole city underneath. It's so big, and you have no idea maybe that's connected to Kajang, the roots. They're kind of holding hands with each other, like your um, fiber optics for your internet. That's kind of connected, right? From city to city. Roots are like that as well. And the connecting um, cables for roots, not only the root itself, sometimes it can involve other organisms, like the fungus. Okay? So it's forming this vast network underground. One of the reasons why we can have fruit season, for example. Why do you think certain months only some fruits can, can, can ha uh, in, be in season? That's one of the reasoning, okay? All right, so up to this level. The third thing you need to know, and, uh, and also the final thing is, I'll just have it down here, okay? This is the fundamental of the root structure. This root, whether it's the primary structure or the secondary structure, can undergo what we call as um, modification. Modification or um, uh, spe specialization. Specialization. Root modification or specialization. And this this is happening not only for roots, but for other organs in, in plants. Plants like to do modification. Okay? For why? Because it cannot ask for help. You know, can you help me to do this? No. They have to do everything by their own. They, 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 they need to be resourceful. They need to be independent. It's not like they can ask for a community help. They can call somebody else to have it. Okay, so that's why plants do a lot of modification, organs modification, to serve additional functions. Okay, and this modification usually for two reasons: to strengthen fundamental function. We got three functions here: nutrient water absorption, anchorage, and rhizosphere or to create additional function, okay. So, number one is to strengthen, strengthen or to boost primary function, which are this function, one, two, three. Or number two is for the storage. Yes, plant can modify the roots so that it can store a lot of food. It's pretty much like you. You have your backpack. You can keep all your stuff, right? And it's, if that's not enough, you have your room. If not, if that's not enough, you can buy a house. If that's not enough, what? Buy a tower. Yeah, you can buy further structure.
can 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 plants go and buy some things? No. But what they can do is they can modify. They can modify. Okay. And all right. So this is the thing that we are going to have a look today. So look at the plants in front of you. Okay. Uh, by the way, any question up to this point? Any question up, up to this point? Three things, okay? Root function, root primary architecture, and the root modification or specialization. These things are the things that you're going to learn during lecture actually in detail. But for now, because I want to save time, in five minutes, this is all you get. Okay? Right. So look at your plant. So in front of you, you're going to see plants of various species. So we have um, zemes, amaranthus, um, orchid, carrot, and pandanus. Pandan, all right? Amaranthus, cocoa apple. What plant is that? Bayam. Bayam. Spinach, okay? Spinach. Okay, what you need to do now is... Um, You need to, of course, you need to draw this plant. Okay? You need to draw this plant. Um, I don't want to rub this. Um, can you unroll this and shut, shut the projector? Shut the projector. Why is it not moving? Why is it moving? It's, it's closed. Yeah, that's it. Besarnya, back untuk remote. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, now you need to draw. What do you need to draw? Since this is the lesson for roots, the leaf is... You, can, you, you are encouraged to draw other parts of the plants, other organs. But the labels are not of concern now. We are more interested with the root label. So, for example, you have your... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show this. Okay, so let's say that um, this is your pandan. Pandanus. Okay, so you, you have your plants, the structure. So, for example, in pandan, you need to understand that it has got its main structure here. I need to know where is your primary root. For example, this is the primary root. Is there any secondary root? Grab it, grab it and have a look. So when once you have drawn it, label it. Is there any root hairs? Yes. Yeah, if there is a root hairs, then draw and label it. Root has look at your pandan there is something else actually there is something uh, sticking out of it so this actually is no longer this thing this is actually under this category now modification so for example this one Need to know what the name of this structure. 
it's called prop or stilt root. Yeah. Right now, right. What is the function of it? This is something for you to find out. What is the function? Okay. And then at the bottom of your drawing, put the label as usual. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. The information is very minimum here. It's something for you to find out. What is the um, Latin name for um, pendant? What does it say? Does it say? Pa? Pendanus? Oh, why so many names? F? <laughs> SP? SP? SP means what? Species. Okay. Sp species. Okay. All right. Um, people are uncertain. What kind of species is this? Okay. All right. So do this. And then when you're done with one plant, go to the next plant. Okay. I'll tell you now what more or less what you're going to see. So for the amaranthus, the spinach plant, you're going to have this um, pretty much no root modification, but this is just the tap root, this label. Google it, okay? Google it and see the morphology because you know the name of the plant, all right? The tap root and also is there any secondary root or root has? That's for you to find out, all right? Okay, then you will have your... What's the family of Zimes? Bamboo. What? Yeah. Look, look at, look at this root. Definitely more than just a primary architecture. There must be something else going on here. Definitely. So find out what is this? What do you think is? This thing. Aerial. Thing. Aerial root. What is the function of aerial root? Aerial root is actually the name itself say air. A E R. Air. It's for breathing. Breathing. So this thing, does it look like it's improved breathing? This is actually another type of prop or stilt root. Okay, sometimes people call it, I'll give the name here. <sighs> Crown root. The reason is because, so do you have your, um, um, your, the, this structure, we don't call stem because this is grass. This structure, the main trunk of this, we call it calm. Calm is actually stem for grass family. Okay, and you will see that sometimes there is a bumpy structure on this calm, this thing. There's a bumpy structure here. This we call note. Note. And what happens in between? We have internode. You have it on your body, your finger. Buku dan ruas. Your knuckle is your note. Your interdigit is your internode. Okay? Yeah. So, in this note, you can see that this root is coming up. You will have that. You will have that, you will have that, you have that. Surrounding this area, forming like a crown. That's why the name is, can be the crown root. Yeah. But if you label it as the um, prop estate root, according to some book, that is correct as well. But the crown root, people don't say pandan got crown root because it's not surrounding the note. This is special for the um, Zimes. Okay? All right.
What else? Okay. Okay. Oh, carrot. Ah, okay. This one. <laughs> Is there any knife? Me, ada pisau. Gunting ke? Okay, this one is a bit special uh, because of the third thing of the modification. You need, you, need, you need to open it. I got it, got it, got it. Yep. You know, you know what? Better for me to do that um, over there. Um, somebody bring the carrot over here. Bring, bring the carrot, bring the pandan over here so that uh, I don't have to uh, waste time go towards you. You can have it back. I borrow, borrow. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is your, okay, uh, put the pandan over there. Okay. When it only involves modification to strengthen existing structure, you pretty much can have it visualized on the outside. That's fine. But the moment it involves modification, for example, to do further storage, you need to cut it. Okay, you need to cut it because there is a structure in there enabling the storage um, to happen. For example, like this one. What kind of root is this? Aerial root. Now it is aerial root. Okay. What's the function now? Breathing. Climb. Does it look like a climbing plant? This is this is um, orchid uh, vanda. It just go one branch, one one trunk. This is actually to absorb nutrient as well. Nutrients and water. Water in the form of not droplets, vapor, fog. You know fog? It's like a mist, but finer. Uh, what's that, Emily? Fog? Cabus. Mm, yeah, all right. So this, this area root now, you need to open it. Look inside of it. This one, I don't want to destroy it too much. Cut it. You're going to see, whoosh. It's actually scaly, this thing. It is actually scaly. It's got its own skin, okay? So when you draw it, label it properly. It's a bit scaly. This is the side view of it. When you look from the front view, you will see that for the orchids, it actually, oh, that's a green, greenish bit actually. This is the white thing, the white scale. This guy here, now it's different orientation, okay? It's this way now, this way now. In the middle here, there is like a greenish thing, greenish whitish thing. And it's very fleshy. This thing, I'll just give to you. Maybe you're not going to find it. It's called Villamen. Okay, fine, fine what is the function. Okay, find what is the function and then put it in your drawing. Okay, all right. Okay. So what is the function of the filament? It's, it's to further absorb the nutrients, okay? It has the strengthen this structure here, which is, it's not for anchorage actually, no. Is it for rhizosphere? Not so much. It's actually to improve this. It, it boost it up. Right? Okay. Then what else? Ah. What's this? Latin, please. Latin. Daucus. Tak ada SP, no. Tak ada. You cannot call SP all the time. Daucus carota lah. Kena carrot ni kan. What's the family? Ah, keratin. Aku tak ada. Keratin is the pigment in, in this. Find the family of this. You need to know up to family level, okay? Species, genus, family. For all the plants that you are dealing with for the rest of the semester. Mandatory. 
must know, must memorize. How do you memorize? That's why I keep telling you the meaning behind it, the etymology of it. You know etymology? Etymology. Study of word origin. For example, the word biology. Greek word, Latin word, it's got two parts of it. The original word is bios. This word, the original word is logos. This is life. This is logos, the study of. Combine it. The study of life. You call it biology. Okay? All right. That's how you, you memorize all these weird Latin words. Okay? All right. Coming back to this. This is actually root, okay, which is special. We go to this side. This is actually, this guy here, what structure is this? Primary root. Primary root, when it gets even bigger, it becomes what? Originally, it's a primary root. When it becomes bigger, it becomes the tap root. Akar tunjang. Akar tunjang. Guess what? When tap root needs to modify itself to store things, you get the storage organ like this. Tap root modify becomes a storage. Your homework is, I need to know what this is called now. The storage organ. Okay? So when you have your carrot, not only that you draw this, you draw what is this structure on it. Can you see there is a scars on that? Yeah. Yeah, find out what is it, what is that called? So you have your carrot. That's, that's sweet potato. Ah, something like that. So, need to know what is this? What is that? Is there any root house? Maybe yes, maybe no. Find out, find out. Okay, when you're done with that, now, since this is a storage organ, we do the same with what we did with the um, Please, please don't destroy this so that your other friends can use it. Just a small bit. The best thing is to use um, a knife, actually. That's not smooth. So cut it. Half, half the, the transverse. We call it the transverse section. Transverse section. Longitudinal. Longitudinal. This transverse section, you can see that there is like a eclipse inside here. So what is this thing in the middle? What is this thing right outside of the ring outside of it? What is it? I've given you a lot. I've given you a lot. Do this so that you know how to look for further information after the fundamentals have been given. Okay? Not to worry. We'll learn it about uh, during the lecture. Okay? All right. Oh, this is pretty much I have addressed it. So this is fine. Yeah, that looks scaly. Yep. That's pretty much it. Okay, I, I have covered that. Then that's fine. Okay, I think that's all the plants that you have to deal with today. All right. Any question? Anybody unhappy? Okay, can you finish? Um, how many? You got four. Four plants. Can you finish in 20 minutes? Five minutes each. Super quick, I just draw it. Right, I explain it in 10 minutes. All right, okay, all right. If you have no question now, do it and take this back. Okay, once, you, once, once you're done, um, we, we, we'll see uh, what you did for your homework last week. Okay, quick, do it, do it, do it, do it. Start early so that you can finish early, okay? Oh, all right, okay, thank you.
can you please write your group name? How am I supposed to know your group what? Whose who's group is it? I, I'll, I'll come to your, your, your group. Come. All right, come. Let's see what happens. Um, oops, sorry. So, all, all look the good. Perempuan kan, mesti nak buat cantik. So, wait for the boys. Um, some of you, you don't bring your color, right? But you want to color. Maybe we um, make, we make this as homework. And then next week, when you come, we'll go through what you have done. Is that okay? All right, okay. Let's do it that way. Okay. Hmm. Kau bawa apa lagi benda ni? Kan dah dah elok dah. Semalam ni tak boleh, ada bateri. Ah. Lepas tu takut aku maki lah kan? <laughs> alright, alright. Okay, uh, I think if you're done, um, I think that's all for today. Any question before you go? No. <laughs> alright, okay. Uh, if you're done, you can you can wrap um, tidy up now. And I think next week, no class. No class, no. Uh, some of your friends want to celebrate Lights Festival. Okay, since, wait, wait, wait. Since we have no class, okay. Next week, I want to see each one of you have something small dictionary because you have learned a lot of new words right yeah. lots of new words i'll give you two options you have you can have something physical like this or you can have something um what's my marker what's my marker oh, okay. I'll give you two options. Now that you have learned a bunch of things, I want you to have your own bot 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 botanery. Botany dictionary. Okay. Or oh, glossary, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Each week, please have a minimum of 10 to 15 word, new words that you learn. You have learned so many words, not necessarily Latin or Greek words. It can be like a regular English word. For example, give one word that you, you learned this week. BC. Huh? What? What? Et etymology. Okay, fine. Etymology. Etymology. And then tell what is the type of word is it? Is it noun? Is it verb? Is it adjective? This is noun. Then the study of word origin. And this is the regular English word. What about the botanical word? What? What are Give me an example. What? Huh? Come. Okay. Come. Come. What is it? No. You need to put this. This thing is called part of speech. Part of speech. It's a noun. Uh, what is it? <laughs> That's the uh, non-official definition of it. Uh, yeah, you can, you can have it. Stem for grass family. Actually, the, um, the official definition is actually the collection. Collection, collection of um, leaf sheath. Sheath. She's compressed in concentric circle. 
That's very technical definition of it. I don't need you to have a technical definition. I just want you to understand. So you can have the first definition, this one. But if you happen to, to, to write the official definition of it, that is fine as well. Okay. So have a wait. In this form, in this kind of book, small book, the, the uh, buku hutang 5552, five, five, that's fine as well. Or have something in, on your phone. Okay. Your phone, if you, if you use window, you can connect to the sticky note of the window to make it appear on the phone. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. So you can have a note like this. Whatever you write here can appear on your sticky notes on your window. You need to turn it on first. Go to the um, Windows app, download the sticky notes, and make it appear on your desktop. Whatever you write here will automatically appear on the sticky note. Whatever you write on the sticky note will happen here as well, vice versa. Okay? All right. Have it this done. So since next week is already the third week, so you should have the minimum of how many words? What, 10, 30 words. No way. Okay. You have so many words. Literally so many words. It can be suddenly you want to uh, have a word something like this. What is it? Grass. Family. New. Then you also learn there is a gramine now grass family as well. But what's the difference? This is the old name. You just got two words now. Okay, all right. So by next week, during this time, um, I'll have a look at this. Okay, physical or electronic, both accepted. All right? Okay, that's all. Um, if, you, if you're done, and then you can dismiss, okay? Apa, tak nak balik? Tak nak balik, aku balik. All right, okay. Uh, no question, okay? All right, okay. So, um, happy holiday for those who are celebrating or in, have intention to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, see you again next week, okay? Bye.